All right, here we are. This is the end of day four at Dice Tower East 2022. And wow, it's been four days. I'm gonna be leaving uh, tomorrow morning sometime. Uh, easy for me though, I'm lucky. I only live about an hour and a half away. So that's pretty cool. I'll be home, you know, probably by noon, noonish time tomorrow. So today, today, was buying games day. Man, I've got so many new games for my book, sh my game shelf at home. Um, usually that's what I do. On Saturdays, if you've never been here, they have a big flea market. Um, it starts early. This year, didn't start till like nine o'clock though in, in the uh, morning. So I got down there about 7.30 7:40 ish, and I'll tell you, I got in line. There was already a hundred people in line, and it wasn't even opening up opening up till nine o'clock. But the line moved pretty fast uh, when it finally got to nine o'clock. Got in there, and man, I picked up some good games. I usually use the flea market to pick up games, you know, like older games that I just don't have in my library of games, or you know, something maybe that I can just get. You know, it might be a little used or something, a little cheaper. Um, but I got some good ones. Some ones that I've really been looking forward to getting for quite some time. It's either hard to find or they're crazy expensive uh, online. For instance, there's one game I picked up that uh, was being sold on the game floor. And I got it at the flea market for half of what they were selling it for. And the guy had only played it one time. So I... I just, I got lucky. I got some pretty, really good games. Then I went back out to um, the dealer section, bought a couple more games. I got lucky. Uh, I was looking at this one game, very expensive, a lot of miniatures. You know, I love my miniatures. And they let me roll a 10 sided dice. And I rolled a 10. And the lady was like, You gotta be kidding me. You're the only the second person during the whole con to roll a 10. 10 gave you 40% off of your entire port purchase. So I bought everything for that game, uh, pretty much. I didn't buy the expansion, but I got all the miniatures. I got a play mat. I got the game. I got some promos um, with 40% off. So that was pretty cool. I also got, bought a couple other games at Portal Games. I got 20% off that. I got Ignace, Ignace to sign. Um, he, you know, he's the developer, of the, the maker of the games. And... Um, he, I got him to sign two of my games for me. Then I went over to uh, another little booth, and this was great. This is just a, a couple that I met, this young couple. They're really, really super nice. Nicest people I, I've met, holy cow. And she was really, she was so nice. She just took the time to explain a lot about the game. And then um, he came over, and I'm gonna talk about this when I, a little bit later when I show you the game because it's actually the only game I played today. <clears throat> but I got to talk to him and we talked about everything. He talked about designing the game and how he wanted it to be kind of like an everything game where it's cooperative, it's um, competitive, and it's really, really meant for solo play as well. Um, he said that's where it really shines. So that's right up my alley. I can play solo or maybe if I can talk my girlfriend into it, maybe I can get her to play it. Um, but uh, he signed it for me. We ended up talking about all kinds of stuff. Philip K. Dick, Alan Moore, um, movies, Tron. Oh man, we talked about all kinds of stuff. Just the nicest people in the world. They've started their own game company. He made the game. His brother did the artwork for the game. Um, really cool. I'll show you that game in a little bit. And uh, wow, that, that took most of the day. Um, and wore out my uh, wallet pretty much. I'm gonna do a full game haul once I get back home in a couple days and show you all the games that I got while I was here. Um, pretty cool. Just more games to put on my shelf that I, who knows if I'll ever get to, if I'll ever play. But I'm gonna try to be doing some videos really quick uh, for these. So, especially this game that, that I'm going to show you next. But I uh, just wanted to say it was great. Thank you for watching. Those of you who've watched, um, I'm having a blast. I had a good time. 
and um, it was nice to be back into a convention. It's been two years, you know, that I've been, in, nobody's been able really to go to this convention. So it was really nice. All right, I'm gonna go show you a couple pictures and do another voiceover showing you uh, the game that I picked up and I played today. All right, thank you very much. All right, here's a cool picture of Ignacy. I'm not even gonna try to butcher his last name, I'm sorry. Um, he's the designer, one of the designers for Portal Games, and he designed this Batman uh, Everybody Lies game, and I was lucky to get him to sign it for me. He also signed my copy of Robinson Crusoe for me as well. And uh, yeah, really great guy, really nice. Uh, I hope you check out Portal Games and Ignacy's work. All right, here's a look at the cover of the game I was talking about. So they're calling their game company Familiar Games, and they're out of Athens, Georgia. And this is the game. This is Mageling, designed by Joseph Butler, and illustrated by his brother, Charles Butler. You can also see down here at the bottom, I got him to sign the game for me. It is a one to four player game, but like he was telling me, it's, it's really geared towards a solid single player, you know, solo player game. Here's the game I have set up, uh, getting ready to play. You can see for the solo, you actually have three rows of cards. Uh, when you play with the, um, you know, the competitive, you can play up to four players. You don't actually have that top line there. You just use the other two lines. But um, basically you have to go make your way through, fight your way through four different realms of this land, this world. And you have, you can get some help from some cool characters and things, but you also can run into some monsters. And what you're trying to do is basically make your way through the four lands before all the energy that is in uh, the tree there, the main tree on the top, um, goes away. And once you lose all the power, the tree dies and you lose the game. Unless, of course, you've fought your way through those four uh, land areas before the tree dies. Here's a little bit more of a closer look at how the game ended. It is a very, very difficult game, especially at first. Um, I've only played it a couple times now, and I've not won. I've gotten to the third and fourth um, uh, area, the zone, but uh, I just haven't been able to grok it yet. I haven't been able to figure out a way to win. Um, but he told me it was actually very hard. Now, they do have an expansion that did fund on Kickstarter. I'm going to have to late enter to get the this expansion, but he says it makes it even harder. So, but there's it adds a lot more to it. There's a play mat and playing pieces, all kinds of stuff. I really can't wait till uh, I can get my hands on the expansion as well. Just playing it this couple times, uh, I'm really enjoying it. Really love the artwork. It's a beautiful game, really well made. Um, I can't wait to get the expansion and delve into that. Um, I can't wait to get this home. I'm going to play it a couple more times and do a then do a playthrough video, just just to show y'all um, the game, how, how it's played. And I think you'll uh, be searching it out and looking for them too. Of course, you can find them online at uh, Familiar Games and contact them. Uh, this game was, was not very expensive, but really, really well made. I love the cards, the artwork, everything. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Uh, when I get home, I'll be doing a complete... Uh, game haul of all the games I purchased while I was here show you all those I'm excited to get those eventually to the table and get some playthroughs uh, Filmed for y'all. All right. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Have a good day. See you later